Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Chris Hosgood. 40% of people your age feel lonely. I think that it's a question of vulnerability. The truth is that we put up these walls, we put up these barriers, and we don't let people in. We don't let them see us for who we are. He doesn't try to kind of water things down so that other people can understand. Rather, he gives himself to whoever he's teaching. It made me laugh a lot, but it also made it really interesting at the same time. But you're in high school, middle school, then you see that beautiful girl walk by. And so you're like, who's that hot tamale? <laughs> and then all of a sudden you get the courage to finally ask her out. You have the butterflies in your stomach. She has the butterflies in her stomach. The feelings are real. And then what happens? Two, three weeks, maybe a month or two later, the feelings are gone. And when the feelings are gone, then you start wondering, do I even love him anymore? Does he love me? Many times in our culture, after those feelings are gone, we drop it like it's hot and move on to the next thing. Christopher is very charismatic when he speaks. And so I think that really engages his audience to focus and to pay attention and to really just understand the topic that he's presenting on. It was a nuclear diaper gone off. <laughs> and my wife is yelling at me, aren't you gonna clean her? I'm like, I don't even know where to begin. Everybody gets something. And I think it's well-rounded. And that's a good thing about him, is that he can be well-rounded in what you give him, in the talks that you give him, and fully deliver. I want to tell you a story about my grandparents. My grandparents, Doug and Ann, they've been married for over 60 years. That's something we don't hear a lot about anymore. Been married for 60 years, and I asked my grandfather, I said, Grandpa, how can you be married to the same person for so long? And he paused and he looked at me. He goes, Chris, I thought I loved your grandmother when I married her but now I know I do. Love cannot be found, it can only be formed. What he's saying is one day those butterflies are gonna be gone. Those feelings aren't gonna be there, but love sets in when all that disappears. He made me think about what love really means. A long time ago I didn't know what it was and I didn't know how people were supposed to show their love for me and how I was supposed to show my love for them, but now I do because he taught me a lot how to show it. Each date is a potential mate, which means you shouldn't be dating unless you're thinking about marriage. Would you rather have a guy come up to you and say, oh man, I love you so much that I hope to cause a lot of pain and heartbreak. If you would rather have someone come to you and say, I love you so much that I respect you, that I love you and I will honor you. See, love is not just a word, it's not just a feeling, it's not those butterflies in your stomach, but it is action, it is real, it is tangible. Authentic love is standing firm and saying, I'm in it forever. He is the perfect example of a good spiritual husband and good spiritual man, son, father, friend, and an excellent speaker. Excellent speaker. I'm going to get something out of it. I'm going to get a full uh, 360 on my life uh, to really look deep into myself and think, okay, where am I wrong? Where do I need to improve on? Where can I change? And he really allows that. Ladies and gentlemen, there's gonna be times where nuclear diapers go off in your life. <laughs> you can either run from it or you can embrace it and say, this is how much I love you. Thank you very much.